Hello and welcome back to this week's video. It is my final dress before the Halloween season is over. I have been talking about this dress for the past few weeks. I know a lot of people have been asking for this. So today I'm making Sarah Sanderson's dress from Hocus Pocus. I have to admit that I never saw Hocus Pocus until last year and it wasn't my favorite. I watched it again this year and I kind of liked it a little more and I actually really liked Hocus Pocus 2, which I've heard a lot of people don't, so I don't know what everyone's stance is on that. But I'm gonna be making Sarah Sanderson's dress. I think it's so cute. I love the corset and the embroidery, and I just love the flowiness of the skirt, and hopefully I'll be able to recreate it as close as possible. I've been taking the past couple of weeks to gather up all of my materials. This is everything. It's mostly a lot of chiffon, um, and then for the bodice, I do have other things. I have this fake dupioni silk. This is for the sleeves. I'll tell you more about that in a second, and then I do have some lace. The rest of it is all chiffon and hopefully that I think that this will really emulate the skirt that she wears. The Halloween is in a week exactly so I have one week to make this whole thing. I think I might tackle the skirt first because that's where a lot of my materials are going to be and then I'm gonna do the bodice last and I'm thinking it's kind of gonna be oh my gosh my hair is all staticky from this fabric. I think it's gonna be a combination of the first and second movie costumes. I know they're very similar. Uh, I feel like the colors in the newest movie they're a lot more vibrant so my colors are kind of based off of that because it was hard to get a read on what the true colors of the original costume were so like for example this kind of matches the newer one same with the color of these sleeves but it will kind of just make sense as a whole so let's get started on this skirt which I have way too much fabric for now the thing about this skirt is that there's just so many layers to it so many colors and for the most part I do think I have it figured out for me personally, I've been collecting chiffon, been searching for the right colors. I have this kind of pinky, purpley plum color. Actually, I don't know if this is plum. Is this plum? I don't know. And then I have more of a true purple and I'm gonna layer these two on top of each other. So this is gonna be layered on this, like so. And then underneath these two, oh, this is literally, So I'm gonna have these two, and underneath these two, I have this golden mustardy color. I don't even know what color you would call this, honestly. So these three are going to be together in this the main skirt that goes around, and it's gonna be like this. Oh no, I dropped. So for the main skirt, I have these layers. It's all gonna be gathered up, and then when you move around, you'll see all of them. And I think that kind of looks similar. My problem is I don't know how to gather them up. In the newest movie, I was doing some digging on the costume designer's Instagram, and that skirt is cartridge pleated. I don't know if I want to do cartridge pleats though. That's the thing. It'd be a lot faster just to gather it on my machine. So that is that. And then of course I have to figure out how to do like that thing she has. And then the center panel, we have this red lace. I dyed this actually. It used to be white. I wish it was a little darker, um, but I don't think it will bother me too much. And I'm trying to figure out what to put underneath it. Obviously I need something because it can't just be sheer, but I don't know what color to put underneath. I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be a light color, but I feel like it would look better with purple under it. So I'm thinking if I have extra of this purple that I could do this and then put the red lace over it. I kind of prefer how that looks. It darkens the lace, which I like. Um, Let's just gather it up and see what we can do. I'm doing something experimental. I'm not really doing cartridge pleating, but I think it's kind of similar. It's technically just gathering. But the main issue was like that weird rufflage or like something that they have gathering on the hips. It's not just like a straight gathered skirt. And I've been trying to figure out how to do that without adding an extra layer because in the new movie on the photos that they have on display, it looks kind of pulled up. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So like cartridge pleating, I folded it down like this. These are the two purple layers of chiffon I have. Um, but I, instead of hand sewing, I just did two lines of basting stitches. And then 
over here, I spaced it out and I skipped the cartridge plates a big chunk into there so that it creates this thing, this flap that kind of mimics the dress, the skirt. And then once you gather it, I hope it looks good. Maybe it won't. And if not, I can take the threads out, I guess. But I need to do this on the other half of it as well. And then we'll gather it and see the moment of truth. I think it kind of worked. One of them ended up a little bigger than the others, so they kind of lay differently, but I, I'm i happy with this. I think I could make this work. I'm imagining this all together and I like it. It will be closed up at the back. I don't know why it's not right now, but this looks really good. Do you see this waistband? This is the waistband sewn on. Do you see that thickness? Yeah, this is the thickest waistband I have ever sewn ever. It was so hard to do. Like there's so many layers here. I didn't think it was gonna be possible. It was like, it's like the thickest waistband ever. Normally, if I have this many layers in a skirt, I'll break them up into separate waistbands so that I don't have this issue. But I knew that this skirt was supposed to be all one thing. So I literally sewed so slowly to get onto this waistband, but it worked. So now the skirt is finally done. I know that I showed you originally this pink fake dupioni silk, but I took it upon myself to dye it with some brown to make it a little bit more muted because this was just too bubblegum for me. It was too bright, too in your face. And I think this one is much better. So we're gonna drape it on this dress form. I unfortunately did not embroider a whole lot yesterday just because there's a lot to do and I wasn't feeling it. I did start on the two front pieces. This one, I don't know if it's finished yet. Let me turn the camera around. I'm not following any pictures. I decided I'm just like doing these random vines and like sewing these or embroidering these flower things on them. I don't think this one is done. I'll probably add more detail. And then I started on the other front piece one as well. There's that. But I have all of these to do and it's just a big task. So I'm gonna be watching TV, hanging out with my cat and embroidering this until it's done. This definitely took me a long time, but I think it looks so good. It's really unique. It's not really the original dress or the newest one. It's kind of like a mix of the two, and I think it's really special and pretty. Although now that I'm looking at it, I feel like there's an unbalanced amount of yellow right here. <laughs> I feel like there needs to be one more pink one right there, so I'll do that really quick. That looks so good, and I just need to sew them together now, I guess, and cut out a line. I've got this this cotton drill stuff for the base of the corset. I need to cut out the pieces. Oh, okay. I need to cut out the pieces of this. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't do that. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to cut them out so that I can actually put it together. This stuff is pretty nice for corsets and whatnot because it's really sturdy and thick. Every time I go to sew this, he doesn't let me. He doesn't let me. He's a loving boy right now. He's not always, but he is right now, right when I'm trying to work. I'm sewing the boning channels right now. Halloween is coming up very soon and I am behind schedule. I still have this corset to make. I still need to do the sleeves and I still need to do a cape and it's Saturday, so I need to hurry. This, plus, because I want this video to be out at least on Halloween. So if you're seeing this and it was published on Halloween, that means that I made it. Hopefully that happens. Okay, the corset itself. Look at how good this looks. I think it looks authentic. Ah, look at the embroidery, it looks so good. That's what it's gonna be like. Straps, obviously. My next step, so there's these two layers. They're pinned together, so I need to sew on the edges and then you like bind them and then I can do grommets and stuff and I still need to cut out the straps. Maybe I should do that first. I need to add the straps to it. For those of you that don't know what it means to bind edges, let me show you what I'm talking about. I normally do this just for corsets, stays like this, sometimes other bodices, but basically um, you have the raw edges of the bodice and you just take some bias tape or some bias of the fabric you use. You cut a strip like this and you sew it to the edge of that raw edge and then you flip it over like this and sew it down on the other side so that it kind of encloses that edge and it makes it look really nice. The problem is that normally you have to hand sew it. You can do it by machine but this will make it cleaner so I'm going to spend the next hour or so hand sewing this down and then it will almost be done except for grommets.
ignore all these pieces i need to take them out but see how crisp this is like that point there's only one last step on this and it needs grommets and a lot of them because they need to be all on here all on here three here three here and then one on each of these straps and i need to add sleeves It is four o'clock the night before Halloween and I am rushing to sew the sleeves onto my finished corset because I really want to have this video out tomorrow, which means I need to film the footage of this dress tonight and it's going to get dark really soon. Um, I really wanted to make a cape, but I don't think that's going to happen. I can probably make one tomorrow during the day if I'm going to wear this tomorrow, but unfortunately it won't be a part of this video. The sleeves are so flimsy. I got some cheese cloth from Joann's and if you don't know what that is it's just like the worst I did I've never worked with it before but it's not good I'll show you in a second um and I dyed it a pretty similar match I would say to the sleeves she wears and I'm just hand sewing it into the armhole because I have no idea how it was originally put in there there they are right there because I couldn't this was the best I could come up with um to make the sleeves you know match so I'm trying to do this as fast as possible I'm like in such a time crunch but once the these sleeves are sewn on, I will be done. So that's a good news. It's almost done. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha